Yeah, so you know, we're uh, nice to talk to you again. Uh, we we're as we've always anticipated that our business remains resilient during this time of economic disruption, and we're proud to be serving millions of pet parents who are relying on us now even more so than ever. So sales have held up well. We're seeing elevated levels of demand, and uh, both from active customers as well as new customers migrating to our platform, and uh, we're proud to serve them. Are you having any trouble, Sumit, sourcing any of the materials, the, the pet meds, uh, the actual supplies and toys that you send, g given some hiccups in the supply chain globally right now with so much shut down? We've seen, uh, you know, so far we've seen uh, no material disruption to our supply chain or our, our ability to to service customers. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One, if you recall, you know, over 70% of our sales comes from consumables, and these are sourced locally here in the United States. Uh, number two, you know, we have a wide base of suppliers where we source our hard goods from, and we were proactive uh, in jointly planning with our vendors and suppliers to stock up the right levels to be able to, uh, you know, sustain the demand shock that, that, that we're sort of experiencing right now. We are, we are seeing a few, uh, you know, SKUs that are out of stock, but even in that case, remember, our ownership customers uh, receive priority allocation, so we're taking care of them. And for the most part, customers are able to find alternative patterns, designs, and, uh, and switch out into a different brand. So very little supply chain disruption at this point. You, so you mentioned uh, pickup in, in demand. Ga gauge for us uh, by what extent, and, and do you have any idea if that's simply... Uh, long-standing pet owners who are now having to order online versus going to the store? Or, or has there also been, do you have any data uh, of a, a pickup in pet ownership as people are, are consigned to their homes and looking for, for companionship? Yeah, we're seeing both. We're seeing, uh, you know, our increased or our elevated demand right now come from both. Uh, our active customers who are greater than 13.5 million at this point are, 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 are shopping with us. Uh, there's some stock-up phenomena there as well. And then we've seen a meaningful, you know, lift in new customers all across the country migrate to our platform, even more so now with social distancing in play. So it's a combination of both of them. What are you doing in terms of workers? Is, is it hard to keep them coming in? Are you taking extra safety precautions? And I believe you're also hiring. Is that right? That's exactly right. So one, you know, I said we're super proud to serve pets and pet parents during this time. I am also super proud of our team. Uh, we've done a couple things here. Uh, one, we've been proactively communicating a lot, transparently and routinely and regularly across the company. Uh, you know, we're focused on daily communication protocols and making sure that our team is aware of everything that we're doing. Number two, you know, we put in elevated levels of uh, sanitation, hygiene procedures, uh, we've actually updated our benefits policies. We've put in incentivization and wage improvements in place. We've also been able to implement substantial work from home and uh, social distancing, uh, you know, across our customer service sites. So all in all, we're continuing to invest and in making sure that health and safety of our team members is paramount and and uh, and and pivotal for us at this time. 